Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here. Welcome back to Introduction to C++ Programming. This is part 17. We are on the module 2 quiz. This is going to be rather quick, sort of like all the quizzes are, so let's jump into it. So, type in the code to enter a value and store it in the variable x. Then test if it's greater than 20, print x is big on the screen. Um, if x is less than 10, print x is small. So say if it's greater than 20, print out this. Otherwise, if it's less than 10, print out x is small. So depending on what we get from the console input, um, it's going to evaluate to either this condition or that condition. Cool. Um, next up, guys, type in a code to print in, print in a loop to the screen five times using the while loop. So we'll say while x is less than or equal to 5, print x plus plus, and that's, that's good to go. Next up, type in a code to print in a loop to the screen seven times using the for loop. So we'll say for int x equals zero, while x is um, less than seven, and in a loop, awesome. Next up, which of the following is true for the switch statement? The switch statement may be an alternative for multiple if statements, yes. The switch statement is the same as the for loop, no. And the switch statement must always contain a default case. I don't think it needs one, but yeah, you can put one in there. Um, so select the correct statements about and and or operators. So A and B is false. If both A and B are true, um, no. A and B is true if either A or B is true, no. A or B uh, and C is true if C is true and either B, A or B is true. Um, yeah, that's true. And A or B is true if either A or B is true. Uh, yep, so let's make sure we got that right. Cool. Um, and you can get sort of tripped up with the logic there. Like I took a logic class in college and it gets way more intense than that. Um, it's, it's definitely like sort of humbling to look into those problems. So fill in the blanks to print you rock to the screen. If a variable is greater than 12, if variable A is greater than 12, and variable, variable B is less than or equal to 76. So um, if A is greater than 12 and variable B is less than or equal to 76. Cool. So in this case, is A greater than 12? Yes. Uh, is B less than or equal to 76? Yes. So it's going to print out you rock. All right, guys. So that was it for conditionals and loops. Next, we'll be moving on to data types, arrays, and pointers. And it has a bunch of lessons. So pretty excited about that, guys. Get it into a little bit more intermediate stuff. And as you can see, we still have quite a ways to go. But I'm really excited to do this for you guys. And, you know, let me know if you if you enjoy it. And hope you guys are learning a lot and uh, getting a lot out of it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe and support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching, guys. And have a great day. Take care.